Hi everybody and welcome back. My name is Spudrick and this is a huge thing coming up less than a month away, probably about two weeks or so. The New Destiny DLC is coming. Woo! Destiny 2, so fun. I'm having fun with it. We recently beat the raid. Guess what? New content right around the corner. I'm fucking psyched! Yeah! Alright, but let's talk about this new DLC. I think... We have a few questions that need to be answered. But first things first. Season 2 is coming right around the corner. Same time the DLC comes out, so is Season 2. Whoop! New clan rewards coming. New token system for factions. So, yes, that's so good. So good. So now, hopefully, if they did the system right with the tokens, everybody gets a chance to win instead of, oh... We're all just going to choose one thing. They're going to win and then leave, you know, future war cult back in the dust. Like they have two times in a row now. They need a new system. On my opinion, what's yours? Next thing for season two, it's all free. Season two is a free update. No, you don't have to pay for season two to happen. It just happens. It's the new update coming relatively soon so just keep that in mind okay next thing I want to talk about with the DLC now the paid DLC I believe comes weapon crafting that what what that means there's gonna be new weapons for you to craft duh there's gonna be probably materials that you need to go and collect to make these items and I'm gonna guess there's gonna be some sort of currency that you can buy all these materials from somebody, from somewhere, you know. Kind of one of those pay-to-win things, but from what they said, it's not going to be that you have to pay anything for these materials. So maybe it's just all in-game currency that, you know, all that glimmer that you've been sitting on going, Duh! just give it to somebody and they give you stuff to make a badass weapon. Boom! All right, next thing for the DLC is the new location. They are bringing Mercury into the new DLC. I think that's great. I've explored every single place about 10,000 times, done every single event known to man. I'm ready for a new location. I'm ready for new events. Let's speed it up a little bit. All right. The next thing that kind of concerns me, but it's... uh. It was going to happen sooner or later. The raid. The main raid. The Leviathan. Uh, it, right now, it's power. the normal power level is 270. It's going to 300. I'm not sure how I feel about that, as I am not 300 yet, but that would give us a good challenge. But that does that mean the prestige rate is going to go up 30 as well? So the prestige rate would go to 330, which means the new level cap is probably going to be 335. That's a, that's a that's a new power level. So that means stronger weapons will drop from the Leviathan raid, which means <clears throat> if you can't raid and you need all that powerful gear, you're going to have to find a clan. You can't just kind of do it by yourself like you've been doing it. I figure that clan stuff is going to be uh, really useful this time around because I made it to 290 without ever doing a single clan activity or having collected an Ingram from my clan doing anything but now that I have I have jumped almost up to 300 I'm close I'm not there yet but in the near future I will be 300 and so will all my clan mates and we will be able to continue raiding it's just gonna be a little bit more difficult than usual now the number one thing that I want to talk about is the the stuff that uh, Bungie talked about for the new DLC. The number one thing that they talked about was the new raid. Oh, shit. Wait, wait, wait. They didn't call it a raid. They didn't call it a raid. They called it a raid layer. What they were trying to explain is there's a door. You can see it from the minute you start the Leviathan Raid. Right up top, there is a door right behind two Colossus. 
that will be open with the DLC. That takes you into the underbelly, which is a new layer to the raid, is what they called it. So that's cool. That means it's going to be a new something to do. This is a second PvE endgame event, which I like. That's really cool. You'll probably get powerful gear out of it, everything. It's going to be just amazing, I believe. Now, on top of that, not a lot of people have three hours to do the original raid. It's... If you're trying to do it with, with people who aren't experienced in the raid, or you have to stop every single five minutes and have to explain something or explain something over again, it's really frustrating, but, you know, everybody has their problems. We made, Everybody can make it through it. It just takes time, but not a lot of people have three hours of time to finish a, a whole raid in one sitting. I mean, they give you a whole week before they reset it, so you could do one section, which is an hour, another section, which is an hour, and then another section, which is an hour, then the final section, which is going to be another hour. You have, That's a four-hour raid. That is really, really long. I do not believe that a raid should be that long, but that also makes your clan work together. It's all it's all tied into one system where if if you have great communication with your clan, you're going to do amazing stuff. So I love the Leviathan raid. I just wish it wasn't as long. And the first time it will be that long, but for anybody, anybody who does it, the first time you do that raid, it's going to be about three hours. And then it, you can shorten it after that, after that. And I think if, just for casual players, you could probably get it down to an hour to do the whole raid. Now, that's not flawless. It's just that's how you do it. There, uh, <clears throat> this is all, this is all added on to the Leviathan raid. The whole entire new system, the underbelly, is going to be added on to what is already there. So that means the underbelly what we know right now is going to change. There's going to be a door that opens and there's going to be an add-on to what the underbelly looks like now. I'm okay with that. It's just a little bit different. Let's just move on. Let's keep on going. But with all that being said, what do you guys think? Is this a better way to put out DLC than they did with Destiny? Where every single time that they put out a DLC, everything else went obsolete and you just had to get all the new stuff? Or, is this a better way? Do you think everything will become obsolete? Uh, I don't know. That's going to be one of those problems. We'll see. We'll see really quick. But I believe this is going to be a good way for the DLC to come out. You know, it's only been about three-ish months since Destiny 2 came out. And now we are here. And we have DLC coming out. We are... Most people have run out of... Uh, have run out... I just stuttered like a crazy man. Most people have run out of in-game stuff to do. We're going to have new in-game stuff right now, so let's hope, fingers crossed, that this all goes good and gravy. Thumbs up. And thank you guys for watching again. My name is Spudwick. This is Destiny 2 Update. We'll be doing more soon. Thank you again. I love you guys, and I will see you next time.